it for the skeleton clock. And as you can see, I've drawn up uh, some more components. You can see this uh, little bracket holds things in place. This leg uh, was a trick, and this is the part I'm gonna work on now, this little foot that pivots on this. What I'm gonna try to do also is I've combined a bunch of parts. So you can see this used to have two different pieces of material, another two that would have to be silver soldered. So I'm gonna try to make this out of one solid piece of uh, brass, uh, which adds some complexity. But you can see the same thing I did before, instead of having these two side plates, uh, I milled this co complete piece out of brass. I think it gives a better looking part, a clean part, uh, and quite frankly, a little more complex to make. So let's get started. Okay, so I've got the part in Fusion 360. Uh, we've got the first set of tool paths mapped out. Uh, but a little explanation. Uh, you can see here we've got a block that's one inch by half inch by half inch stock that we're going to get this part out of. And the first thing we're going to come is we're going to come down from the top. Okay, you can see the Z going up here. We're going to contour this, get this surface out. Then we'll make these drilling. We'll come down and drill the small hole for the 172 tap. We'll drill a hole for a 440 tap and then we'll cut this slot out and that'll be the it on this side then we'll rotate this part you see we'll have that out and then we'll come down and we'll cut out this profile and then we'll figure out with soft jaws or something how to get this uh this half of this part off the block so let's get to it okay so we're about ready to get our origin if you noticed i got to get this point is where the zero 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 is for the uh g code so we'll come down, uh, we'll probe the Z. And then get the X and the Y. Okay, so we're ready to get cutting this face. Okay, so let's take a look how it came out. So you can see uh, off the simulation what the stock should look like. And sure enough, uh, when you take it out, it looks just like it. So operation looked good. Now we'll come over and we'll figure out how to get this side uh, and start getting a part out of this uh, block. Okay, so we're ready for the uh, next operation. It's, uh, this one's pretty straightforward. We just got the part on its side. We're gonna come with a profile. Uh, and then you'll see we're going to also use a technique called rest machining so we can get in uh, the small radiuses that are going to be on this uh, side profile of this part. So we'll get, we'll get cutting. Okay, so now we're going to come in with a uh, 1 16th in uh, flat end mill. We'll put that in place. And that's going to just get into these two small corners where the other cutter was too big because we're coming with a quarter inch. So we'll finish this, uh, this side off. So this can show you what goes wrong. Uh, so you can see we got the profile looks good, uh, but the front of that nose, we're supposed to have this 3 uh, diameter front and we cut that off with the profile. It was easy to miss. Uh, I didn't simulate it properly, uh, but we picked up the center line instead of the round edge for the profile, and G-Code does what you tell it to do. So this is a, another piece of scrap. Uh, the good thing is we're getting experience, so we'll start this over and get back. Okay, so we're getting ready to put these holes in the bottom of this foot. If you can see these holes are going to come in, again, we're on this 2-inch radius, so we got to be able to drill those in. Uh, at the correct angle. If you saw the last video, you saw how uh, we did that on one of the legs. Uh, but this is a little bit, you know, the same. We're using that fixture, if you noticed, I made last time. So I've got that piece clamped in. We'll put this on the fourth axis. We've got to locate this center right here. We've got to put this, get that centered on A, which takes some time. Once we get that centered up, then off of... Uh, off of fusion we can find that edge and then I know that uh, the angle off of there it's four degrees 
we come in, hit one hole, and then around 4.5 degrees, we'll come in and hit the next hole. So we'll go get this set up. Uh, the setup's the hard part, and then we'll drill those holes and uh, get everything in place. Okay, so what I did now is we've got this uh, mounted up. I've got the A-axis uh, centered. This is concentric uh, on the fourth axis. So we've got the A concentric. I would indicate it off of this. I've got the Y uh, zeroed in. Uh, so now we'll come up and we will get the X. Excuse me, we'll get the Z. Now I'm going to go in and visually locate uh, the corner of that foot. And with that, We'll be able to come in to set them out a degree by rotating this fourth axis around and then we'll rotate it once more and we should be able to get cutting. Okay, so we made pretty good progress. Uh, you can see the escapement, it's coming together starting to look like uh, what we have here in the drawing a little bit different as i made some pieces out of a solid piece of brass instead of you know having to fix with screws etc uh, but it's looking pretty good um, it's got the adjustment here this uh threaded rod 440 threaded rod here is for a uh, counterbalance weight but that counterbalance is for the weight of this pallet so until i get that done i really can't make uh the weight properly uh, so we've got to wait uh, to get the material in for this uh, and then also waiting for material for the arbor. So it might be a while until we uh, can make some progress because uh, we've got to get the right material to go to the next step. But so far, I think it looks really good. Thanks and please subscribe.